So today then we are looking at conversion graphs. Okay, now the question I've got for you today is one where we have to draw the conversion graph and then use it to answer questions about it. Okay, sometimes you're given a question which has the conversion graph already drawn for you. Sometimes you've got to draw it yourself. Either way, nice easy marks really. So let's have a standard question. Okay, so the knot is a unit used to measure the speed of ships and aircraft. Right, before we go any further, you don't need to be a genius about what the information is on here, okay? Please do not let that put you off, okay? It's just a graph, and these are the numbers that are going on to the graph. The table shows the number of knots and the number of kilometers per hour for each of the three speeds. So as you can see, zero knots is zero kilometers per hour, 34 knots is 63 kilometers per hour and 40 knots is 74 kilometers per hour. Use the data in the table to draw a conversion graph between kilometers per hour and knots. You will see they have given you a graph. They have labeled the axes for you, which makes life a lot easier. You can see here the X axis is the knots and the kilometers per hour is the y now if you've done straight line graphs before or quadratic graphs you'll notice and be quite familiar with this table here okay now i know you're used to seeing coordinates looking like that okay x and y however they've now asked you to plot the points from this table so there is your coordinate the first one will be zero zero second one will be 34 63 and then the next one will be 40, 74. Okay, so we get two marks for plotting these points now. The first mark is obviously identifying that these are coordinates, and then the second mark then for actually plotting them yourself. So zero, zero, well, that would be there. 34, 63, so 34, be careful with the scale, okay? A lot of these tend to actually put you off and then you have to be careful about the scale. So look at each little square and work out how much it's worth. I've got a nice easy question here because they're going up in ones on each of the axes. But be careful with the ones that you will be doing as well. 34 knots then, which is across here, then up to 63. So 34 up to 61, 2, 3. Okay, be careful when you're staring at these little squares. Okay, make your eyes go a bit funny. Okay, it might be worth putting a ruler across there and following the line up. And then 40, 74. So across to 40, up to 74. Well, there's a big gap between those, and then those are quite close to each other. But we know that because this is 30, 34, sorry, and that is 40. Okay, so we have done it correctly. Then we need a ruler. Okay, conversion graphs are always straight lines okay they are straight lines of where we need to use the ruler very accurately okay excuse me put my back to you but i'm going to make sure that as accurate as possible i'm going to use a different color pen that's going to make it stand out you can see there we've got one straight line so this conversion graph straight line Okay, and when we say straight line, I mean use a ruler. Okay, I don't want to see any of this sketching. You wouldn't get the mark. Use a ruler and then join them up as accurately as you can. So that's two marks so far. You'll also notice you get questions that answer, you have to find the answer by using the graph. Okay, the first one could be something like um, at 30 knots, how many kilometers per hour would that be? So if you're answering a question based on this, use the line to help you. I'll even use a ruler. So let's use that as an example. And so let's look for 30 knots, 30 knots into kilometers. So 30 here, okay? I'm going to use that line, use my ruler as well, to go all the way up to, that point there, and then 
use that point to work out that that is 55. So 55 kilometers per hour. So I have taken data away from that. So let's have another question then. Let's have um, 30 kilometers per hour this time. And we're going to calculate that in knots. Well, 30 kilometers an hour is here, because this is kilometers per hour. Again, using the ruler, go on 30, follow the line across till you get to the green line, or your conversion graph line, and then down all the way to the x-axis. And there we have, what's that? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 knots. Let's make that look a little bit neater. Okay, so it's all about taking that data away from the conversion graph. This question here, though, I've got find an estimate for 100 knots in kilometres per hour. Well, looking on my x axis, it doesn't go up to 100 knots. However, I do have factors of 100 that I could use. Okay, now 50 would be a nice easy one, but we haven't got a value for 50 because we could work out 50 and then just double it. Well, how about then using 20 and then times it by 5? Or finding 25 and times it by 4? So I'm using my factors knowledge. So we could have 1 in 100, 2 lots of 50. We could have four lots of 25 or five lots of 20. You could pick either of them. I'm going to go for five lots of 20. So let's go for 20 then. Use my ruler to help me. Okay, 100 knots. So I've got to make sure I'm on the x-axis. Use the 20 to help me. Make sure the ruler's nice and straight. 20 up to the line, which is there go across to make 36. So we said 20 knots equals 36 kilometers per hour. Right, now a bit of maths to work this out. Okay, we know 20 knots equals 36 kilometers per hour, but we need 100 knots. So to get to 100 knots, we need to multiply this by 5. So we'd have to do the same with that there. 36 times 5, a couple of different methods. You could times it by 10 and then half it to get 180. You could use this more orthodox method. 6 times 5 is 30. 5 times 3 is 15, and I'll put 3 for 18 to make a 180. Okay, so use those axes to help you. Use your ruler, very, very important. If it asks you a question which is not on the graph, use your, fact, your, um, your factors to help you. Okay, this one wanted 100, so I worked out 20 and then times it by five. Okay, use that knowledge to help you. Have a good practice, remember, ruler, when you're drawing a line as well, if you're using a pencil, make sure it is sharp. Otherwise, if it's blunt, you'll have a big chunky line going through on your conversion graph, which makes the accuracy a lot more difficult. Have a good practice. I hope it helps.